Hello folks, it's Rob with Wind by Doing. I am a part-time reseller, full-time IT guy, and we own a small business. The ice cream trucks, yes, I am an ice cream man. I don't drive like I used to. We pretty much hire employees to handle that. That part of the our existence is dying down for the winter. It is middle of September right now. We typically run till the end of September and then call it quits running the trucks after school and on the weekends. Reselling. I primarily resell on eBay. I do have books and other things on Amazon doing Merch Fulfilled. Have not ventured out into FBA and I probably won't hit that this year. I might try it next year. I just don't. There's, I think there's a flood of people that are going to be hitting it starting fourth quarter. I don't know. We'll see. I've got too many things on my plate right now. As many of you know, I am in the middle of organizing my inventory, doing an inventory for the first time since I started this. It's sad to say, if you haven't done inventory, I highly suggest it. Within the first, I don't know, half hour, the first type of items I was going through, that was my hats. I knew I had a lot of hats in there that were not listed, that were intermingled with the hats I did have listed. But within that first half hour or so, I identified they're Washington Cougars hats, and I have two of them. I had two listings. Those two listings were for the exact same hat, and that particular Cougars hat I did not even have. So that would have been a terrible hit on my account if I would have gotten another uh, hit on not having the item and having to cancel the order. That's that's what is preventing me from having top rated seller now. I just about got all of those knocked off. They hang on for a year. So hopefully by the end of this year I will be back at top rated seller. I thought I had it for a little bit but it was there and then it was gone. So anyway highly recommend that. It is slow going. I'm going to be putting some footage. It's not going to be the daily progress just because it's so slow and I didn't want to draw out you know, all that footage of you just sitting there standing, staring at me standing in one place. So that is in progress and it is going well for a beginning, for a start. Like I said, if you guys haven't done inventory or you're not doing inventory on a regular basis I do highly recommend it and I highly recommend that you don't get in the position that I am I you know it was a little bit embarrassing every time I went in there I but you know I put that out there uh, for all you guys to see primarily um, for accountability you know once you put something out there and say you're gonna do it you better do it unless you're a dishonest man and I try to be as honest as a human can be with fault but there will be more to come on that I identify you know I do Christmas village houses not the department 56 but I have um, other off brands um, Dickens uh, Lee Max you know those cheaper brands, but they're they're all vintage, so you know they're things that aren't made anymore. And I'm really only probably going to be, you know, I'm looking at ten to fifteen dollars a piece on them. But you know, I have, I want to say seventy five cents a dollar each on them. And I've already, you know, some Christmas items are selling right now. So if you haven't started listing those, I would highly recommend doing that. I've sold. Most of what I've sold are the little figurines, and I've been getting anywhere from eight to twelve dollars on those. You know, they still have the original, the, the back cards, and the, the the original packaging. Um, let's see. Talking about the platforms I sell on. Yesterday, I removed all of my listings from Etsy and Poshmark. I am removing 
or I'm, I'm waiting for the my redemption or the money my money from Poshmark to be sent out and I receive it before I actually close the account why you ask you know it's I, I'm not saying it's not for some people I'm just saying it's not for me I I look at um, I want to get more bang for my buck and eBay is where that's at I mean when you look at yeah, I don't do Amazon <coughs> a lot, excuse me, but um, I think Amazon has like 40, 46, 48% of the market on, uh, so I think that's the number I looked at. Uh, eBay is sitting at about 34 and um, Nowhere in the, the research I did, nowhere in any of the rankings, as far as traffic is concerned, did Etsy or Poshmark fall. I honestly, I, I think that if you're, if you're selling on those, I think numbers is the game. Poshmark, I think the, the community aspect, the, the social outreach, I think that plays a, a big role in it. And that's just not not for me. It's not something that I have time for doing this part time, with everything else that I got on got going on. So I have decided to to stop. I mean, it was it was a fun little exercise, but um, honestly, folks, I said you know I hear I see people all the time talking about jumping ship and and pulling away from the eBay platform because of all the changes that are coming down. But I am going to let you know. Mark my words. Changes are coming on all of those other platforms, and some some of them you've already seen with increased fees and 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 stuff like that. I mean, I I um, here's the deal. I mean, you look at someone like Poshmark. I think what was recorded was 200 employees. If they are if they continue to grow, and I'm not saying they're not growing, but if they continue to grow, they're going to have to hire more people. They're going to have to increase their infrastructure. And all of that costs money. I mean, it costs a lot of money. If you're curious, go out and look at Glassdoor and look how much a DBA uh, costs, how much a uh, developer costs per hour. All that, all that has to come from somewhere. And the money they're skimming off the top on shipping is not going to cover that. So they're they're going to have to incorporate fees somewhere to, you know. To survive growth so you know it's it's um, it's some of the same complaints you've, you've heard on eBay about scammers and everything else you're starting to see it a lot on you know if you follow any of the message boards and and Facebook groups or wherever you get your uh, reseller news um, you'll see complaints come across sites like Macari and lowball offers on Poshmark and and, um, you know, I, I think Etsy with Amazon's new um, artisan site that they're coming out with, I think they're going to edge out Etsy. I, I, just, um, I, ju I just think that, you know, I'm, I'm getting out ahead of the game. Um, like I said, I'm not saying don't try and experiment with um, these other platforms. For me personally, eBay is is a good fit, you know, and, and my occasional Amazon. I, um, but you know, it that's just like I tell you, tell you, you know, I've told you in the past. Don't trust my word for it. Don't trust the next guy's word for it. If you are curious about it, give it a shot and see what happens. But for me, it just it just wasn't. A good fit. I, I guess that's how I can sum it up. But um, that is what's going on. Again, I'm still working on the inventory. I, um, you know what? Let me let me know down in the comments down below if you guys have an inventory system in place. If your mess is as big as mine, bigger or smaller. Uh, if you run into, you know, issues where you're you get an order and you can't find the item. Um, let me know if you experience that and if you do 
And if you're living a life like me as a reseller in my inventory, let me know if you have any plans on changing and, and getting getting your shop in order. Um, also, let me know let me know what you think about these other platforms. And if you know, I, if you disagree, I completely welcome the comments. And I like to hear everybody's side of the story and see how they're doing on those platforms. But um, I just just not for me folks anyway i am here at the office i'm about to go in i have a call to jump on in about 45 minutes and you know the daily grind anyway we'll catch y'all later peace out